sailor, record setter, Chicagoan. Bill Pinckney was the first African American to sail around the world alone. That's the kind of feat that gets you an honorary street name in your hometown. That's exactly what Mr. Pinckney got. But his street sign is missing. CBS News Jim Williams went looking for it. He joins us now from Monroe and Lakeshore Drive. Jim, what's the word? Brad, it's been gone for two years. A sign across Lakeshore Drive there that honors a man who inspired a generation with his courage and his adventurous spirit. 30 years ago, Bill Pinckney was alone at sea, and thousands of school children followed his every nautical mile. Then he came through the Indian Ocean. His journey ended with cheers and a place in the record books. Pinckney was the first African-American to sail around the world solo. Life, you have to write that yourself. Chicago's own sea captain from the city's south side saw his slice of immortality stamped with an honorary street sign on Monroe near Lakeshore Drive. I was uh, very surprised and happy because I, you know, I've been seeing these signs over the years and I'm saying, wow, that's pretty good. But two years ago, the sign vanished and has not been replaced. Knowing how things go, uh, uh, here today, gone tomorrow, that's the way it is. The captain's former wife, Ina Pinckney, with whom he's remained close, wants an explanation. Bill was and is um, a, a remarkable human being, and he spent all of his time when he came home talking to children about following a dream. And I think his name needs to be part of the history of Chicago for all that he did. We call the city's transportation department, which installs the honorary signs like these. A spokeswoman told us they don't have Pinckney's sign, but at it, they'll try to replace it. Captain William Pinckney Way. Now 85, awaiting the sign replacement, Captain William Pinckney marvels at the swift passage of time since he circled the globe and wrote books describing it. I think of the kids that were reading uh, my book in uh, the first grade uh, when I finished, and they, some of them have kids of their own at this point. I mean, it's frightening. Late this afternoon, Alderman Brendan Riley's office called us and said the Alderman has requested that a new sign be put up as soon as possible. By the way, the good captain is still sailing. At 85, he's doing it in Puerto Rico. Live at Monroe.